Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel and to the Bluefield Sports Gun Room. We're back on the gun vlogs here showing you a little bit of behind the scenes of the stuff that we get up to. Now we've got Connors here working away on a Benelli M2 SP and there's a new product and it's the first time that it's going to be put on this gun although it has been prototyped in other uh, methods but this should be the final product um, so I'll pass over to Connors and we can see what it's yeah. all about. So um, we, the way we work is we do a few prototypes of bits and pieces before we do a production run and then we test our production parts before we pack get the packaging ready and put them up for sale and um, Callum just wanted to get you in on this process so this is a um, bolt release button for the Benelli M2 SP it's got a few differences but we've got a couple of prototypes here to show you sort of where we're at this is all stuff that's been on the bench while this has been in development um, so part of the process is once we we, we 3d print uh, our prototypes we you know they are pretty rough and ready we're just getting them to the right shape so that we know that they fit and they work properly now i'm pretty confident pretty happy with these these have worked all right um, and now it's time to test the production one so um the one of the thing que main questions i've got is a question of tolerance which is going to be the bolt length so i just want to make sure that i can use the original bolts with it um, but we will, as always, supply our own higher quality bolts with the finished product. But the original bolts look like they are going in just fine. Um, and, and, ju and just for comparison, so you're talking about why you would want to do this. So there, there, there's quite a few reasons. So this button is, is that's, that's actually fine as buttons go. Um, a lot of people make buttons that look like this because they're big and you can find them and you can press them. But a button needs to do so much more than just be big because the trouble is with this button is it sticks out. It's, it's proud of the receiver so you can catch your quad loads on it, you can catch your hand on it. It's also um, quite low down on the gun. It's very much in the way of a, of a quad load. Whereas what we've done is we've moved the entire thing up as much as we can, you know, just enough to clear the, clear the belt handle that comes with the gun. And also it's angled on the back and the front. Um, so I'm going to test the bolt release. I'm going to drop the bolt. That works just fine. Another test is to for me to press this button and then press it in to see if it unlocks, which it does. Um, as you can see, just like a few points of detail stuff I like doing with Magload is making sure that the front of the button lines up with the front of the receiver. Um, there's, there's, there's no real technical need for it to line up. I just think, you know... I take pride in what I do and I think a bit of detail is nice and I think it makes the overall thing look nicer when things line up like that. And I can say as well from shooting the uh, standard uh, M2, Nelly M2 recently, it's got the standard button on it still. Actually, it's, it's over here on the table. So one reason that you're going to want the enlarged button, the reason that the SP comes as standard with an enlarged button is so that you can get on it easier and faster. So you're not searching for it and you can give it more of just a, a thump rather than having to be precise and push the button. So here's the standard M2 and you can see how small that is. Um, and when shooting it, you really do need to hunt for it and be very, very precise. Whereas if we go back over to the SP, even with the standard uh, SP button here, I'll compare it to the, the original. So you can see even just the standard SP button, you can hit it in any location there and it's going to release the bolt quickly, easily. You're not gonna to have to think about it, just do. But then you compare this to the Magload one it's not just a matter of size. See, this this is actually a common misconception that a bolt release button is just about having it big enough to hit. Well, I'm, I'm comparing the, the SP button to the standard one, yeah. and, and it is a significant improvement, but what you've done is taken so the design to like you, another if you, level. If you come in here and just get in here and look down that way. So this is the button in its pressed position. And as mm. you can see, it's a nice glide up and over the back that way and over and up that way. However, once it's in the position where it needs to be pressed, so this is the, the position it will be in when the bolt's back, it sits really high and proud. Mm -hmm. What that does is that gives you a nice tactile response, letting you know without looking that the button needs to be pressed. You can definitely feel the difference. You can feel the front edge of that. You can feel the bottom edge of that. And once it is pressed, it drops down and clears out the way. Whereas this button, 
sort of just feels the same no matter where you put it and that's just an issue you get with having a button that's just a flat plate and um, so you know it's just a little insight into part of the development process this is now ready for me to um, size up and order the correct bolts for what we're going to do because we will change these um, sort of steel bolts up for some stainless ones uh, make them a bit longer as well so you don't have to use thread locker on them like we do with the 1301 button and then we've got to get on and design some packaging for it. <laughs> well, yeah, um, unfortunately for me, whilst I am in search of a, an uprated button for the standard uh, M2, this button, as you can probably see, the SP has a completely different um, latch on it and, and button a standard, so it has two screws. Usually what happens with the standard M2 is you, you drill and tap the existing button and use only one screw. So this button is only for Benelli SP um, yeah. M2 variants. Uh, so if you have one, it, well, you can see the difference on it. Again, you're not gonna be searching. It's, it's things like the, the redneck, redneck Tactical even those are considerably larger than the SP standard button. Um, and I know Connors is saying it's, it's a lot more than just size, but size is, for me, a big factor. The bigger it is, the, the easier and quicker it is gonna get on. If you've got a Benelli M2 SP and you wanna upgrade that button, have something that isn't gonna catch, is gonna be very ergonomic and even bigger to get on quickly with, then um, of course, have a look at maglo.co.uk. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the, the usual thing that we get up to in the gun room, testing, development, um, and obviously customer's gun. I mean, another mag load plug. We've got a customer coming in. that's going to be picking up a um, nice, nice lens cap there. Get rid of that. Uh, it's, in this package is a 1522, and we've got some mag load goodies to, to fit it out with. The customer has requested it to come out of the box effectively ready to go with all the maglo swag there we go guys thank you very much for watching this video i really hope you've enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for future content and as always guys i hope to see you soon